Hey folks, welcome to part 3 of our series of the world's biggest animals. If you didn't already, check out parts 1 and 2, where we check out giant predators and huge land animals. We've got some good ones for you today, including the largest animal of all time, and what some may consider the largest predator of all time. Stay tuned. Let's start it off with the world's largest amphibian, the Chinese giant salamander. It reaches a length of up to 6 feet. Unfortunately, it's considered critically endangered due to habitat loss, pollution, and overcollecting, as it's considered a delicacy and used in traditional Chinese medicine. I never thought I'd say this, but guys, please stop eating Chinese giant salamanders. Next up, we have the world's largest snake, the green anaconda. They can be around 25 feet long and up to about 550 pounds although there are rumors of larger anacondas. I have a very good experience of uh, measuring things. And I would say the snake I saw there was close to 50 foot. Honorable mention to the reticulated python, which can be a little bit longer, but not quite as heavy as the anaconda. All right, next up we have the world's largest rodent, a capybara. These guys live in South America, east of the Andes Mountains, and can be up to 3 feet tall, weighing around 230 pounds. They're social and live in large groups. Man, it's like a rat you could put a saddle on. Honorable mention to the world's largest burrowing mammal, the wombat. Nice. And while we're covering mammals, how about the world's largest rabbit, the Flemish giant? That doesn't look that big. Oh my goodness. Since about the 16th century, these have gotten progressively larger due to selective breeding, and can weigh up to about 28 pounds. Alright, as promised, now it's time for the world's largest animal of all time the blue whale, which makes it also the world's largest living animal. These things are enormous and can be up to about 100 feet long, weighing up to 200 tons. Some people claim that blue whales are technically predators because they eat krill, which is an animal, but I've never seen an actual scientist claim this, because baleen whales, like the blue whale, filter their food out of the water. But what do you guys think? Would you consider a blue whale to be a predator? Comment below. Blue whales are so big they have no natural predators, although sometimes packs of orcas will try to scare adult blue whales away from their calves so they can eat the calf. Pretty crazy. We'll talk about orcas next time along with some of the biggest bugs and creepy crawlies. So make sure you subscribe and hit that like button for wombats, if nothing else. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on World's Greatest Animals. Adios. Sometimes I can't sleep, so I take rest more at night. It helps me fall asleep fast and stay asleep. I need more energy during the day so I can get more done and feel refreshed. So I take Meta 7 every morning. Rest More is an all natural sleep formula intended to aid your natural sleep cycle. Meta 7 was developed by Dr. John Gilmore to boost your metabolism. Visit Amazon and try both today.